To change the RAM in your Aspire 1, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Fairly small, because the screws are pretty small, as you can see. This is the perfect fit for the screwdriver I have. I forget which number of tip that is, but you're going to need a credit card. You have to use it to uh, separate the two halves. There's the clips in there. And of course, your RAM. I have two sticks here because I have a 512 and a 1 gig, and I'm hoping the 1 gig works properly. And I recommend two plates to put the screws in. Or something to put the screws in so you don't lose them and you can see them easily. I'm going to put the camera on this tripod facing down on the laptop so you can see me working on it. Alright, so first of all start by removing the three screws on the front. three screws on the back, which unfortunately are fairly tight. Now there's two hidden screws under the rubber feet. These rubber feet could be a bit of a pain to get off. I had to leave the adhesive on the rubber feet, but it's easier said than done. Well, with the rubber feet with the screws. Sometimes you can put the credit card in here to help you get the feet started. If you do lose the tape on them, you can use 3M double-sided tape, cut to size. So again, just take these screws out too. Make sure you don't... There's a little clip right by the F2 key, by the F8 key, and the brake slash insert key. I don't know if you'd be able to see that, but probably not right above the F2 key. What you need to do is oh, it's working out good for me. I'll stick the oh it fell back in. Oh, wait a minute, no, no, that's good. Just slip it under the keys very carefully. Pull up. Also, if you can, I'm side here, one by the cap locks key and one by the enter key. Once you've done that, carefully lift your keyboard up. There's a little black connector here. Put the credit card underneath, flip it up, remove the keyboard, place the keyboard in a safe place. Also, there's another one here for the touchpad. You might as well take that off. Now, unfortunately, there's another one, two, three, four, five screws in here. Actually, six screws. There's a lot of screws in here. I guess they didn't want to fall apart. Just remove each screw. Gently and not forcing anything. 
basically, hopefully you can see that. Take your credit card, slide it along the edge, slide it down the front to release all the clips. Do what I just did, reclipped it. Very carefully, you should be able to get it off without damaging any of the clips. I'm having more trouble with these stupid little clips. Okay, there we go. Is the LCD. It's basically like tape. Very carefully loosen it off. pulls straight out. Once you've done that, this is very delicate, so not insanely delicate. This has got some this tape on here. I don't know why they use this stuff. I guess just to hold the wire down, but a good place to, do, to put this is just sort of slip it out of your way. There's two antenna wires you have to disconnect. One, the white one goes toward the, towards the front. Just sort of slip that out of your way. And you take out this Wi-Fi screw here. The board will pop straight up like so on an angle. Take the Wi-Fi board, put it somewhere safe. Remember to be careful with all components in these things. The hair drive version is fun. Looks like you have to remove the daughter board. Oh boy, the SSD version is a little easier to deal with. Daughter board should pull out on an angle. Pull it out and up like this. I recommend just to make it easier, carefully remove the connector there. Put your daughter board in a safe place. That's seen a laptop such a pain in the ass to change a memory. Usually they have a little freaking drawer. Okay. So there we go. We're finally at the memory expansion bay. I grab my one gig stick. Place it in on an angle. And I'll be glad to be done with this because this is ridiculous how much I had to take apart. They couldn't have cut a hole in the bottom of the, the uh, laptop and put a, a bay to... Uh... Okay. Well, I'm going to pop that out for a second again, make sure it's fully inserted. Push down slowly and carefully, make sure both clips are clipped. Reverse the process. Very gentle in all this process. 